Imagine a warplane so advanced it can fly into the heart of enemy territory, destroy its most guarded targets, and return home without a single scratch. Not once, but over and over again. This isn't a scene from a movie, this is real. And right now, One Nation's fighter jet is doing exactly that. It has flown more than 15,000 hours in actual combat. It has faced the world's most dangerous air defenses, and it has never, ever been shot down. How is this possible? How did a single country take America's most advanced stealth jet, the F-35, and turn it into something even more powerful, something so effective that it has become the most feared and proven stealth fighter on the entire planet? The story begins not with a new invention, but with a critical problem. Israel is a small country surrounded by serious threats. Nations like Iran have powerful militaries and advanced missile systems. To protect itself, Israel needed a way to strike targets deep inside enemy land without being seen and without putting its pilots in extreme danger. When they bought the F-35 from the United States, they got an incredible machine. But it wasn't quite perfect for their unique needs. The American military designed the F-35 to be used by many different countries, all following the same basic rules. But Israel had a special request. They asked, can we change it? Can we modify it to face the specific threats we deal with every day? At first, the answer was no. The Pentagon, America's Defense Department, was very strict. No changes were allowed. Every country had to use the jet exactly as it was built. But Israel persisted. They explained that their survival depended on having every possible advantage. The threats they faced were immediate and deadly. After intense and high-level discussions, America made a historic exception. For the first and only time ever, a country was given permission to completely rebuild the internal systems of the F-35. And that's exactly what Israeli engineers did. They didn't just tweak the jet, they transformed it. They created their own version called the F-35I Adir, which means awesome or mighty in Hebrew. And the changes they made were absolutely brilliant. First, they looked at the jet's electronic brain. Every plane has a system to detect enemy radar and missiles and to jam their signals. The standard F-35 uses a system made by a British company. Israeli engineers took it out. They installed their own system, built by an Israeli company called Elvet. This new system was custom-built to counter the exact types of ration in Iranian air defenses that Israel faces. It can see threats the original system couldn't detect. It can jam enemy signals on frequencies the American version couldn't touch. It was like giving the jet a super-powered sense of hearing and sight, specifically for the dangers in its own neighborhood. Next, they tackled a simple but huge problem. Distance. Israel is small, and its enemies are not always close. Iran, for example, is over a thousand kilometers away for a round trip. A standard F-35 couldn't fly that far, strike a target, and return home without stopping in mid-air to refuel from a tanker aircraft. But those tanker planes are big, slow, and easy to spot. Using them would give away the mission and put more lives at risk. It was a major weakness. So the Israeli engineers found a stunningly clever solution. They designed special external fuel tanks. Now, you might think, don't external tanks ruin a jet's stealth? Normally, yes, but these weren't normal tanks. They were shaped specially and covered in radar-absorbing material to make them nearly invisible to enemy radar. These custom tanks extended the jet's range to over 2,200 kilometers. Now, the F-35I could fly all the way to Iran, complete its mission, and fly home, all without ever needing a vulnerable tanker plane. The final major upgrade was to the jet's computer. They installed what they call a plug-and-fight system. Think of it like a USB port for the fighter jet. This allows the Israeli Air Force to connect any new Israeli-made weapon, sensor, or piece of technology directly into the F-35 systems. Why does this matter? For every other country, if they develop a new missile, they have to ask the United States and Lockheed Martin for permission to integrate it. That process can take years. For Israel, in a constant state of conflict, that was far too slow. With their plug-and-fight system, they can add a new weapon themselves and have it ready for combat in days or even hours. This gives them an incredible ability to adapt and stay ahead of their enemies. So, with this newly transformed jet, what has it actually done? The combat record of the F-35I is not just impressive, it has rewritten the rules of modern air warfare. It began in May of 2018. Israel became the first nation in the world to use the F-35 in real combat. Their jets flew into Syria, strike Iranian targets, and flew out. 
The Syrian air defense networks, which included Russian systems, never even saw them coming. The bombs hit their targets before the enemy knew what was happening. It was a powerful message. Stealth technology works, and we know how to use it. Then, in March of 2021, another historic first. Iranian drones were flying towards Israeli territory. These were sophisticated attack drones, likely on their way to deliver weapons to terrorist groups. Israeli F-35 jets were scrambled. They tracked the drones, locked on, and fired. Both drones were shot down. This became the first ever aerial kill, the first time an F-35 shot down another aircraft in the sky anywhere in the world. It proved the jet wasn't just a bomber, it was a complete air superiority fighter. In October of 2023, the jet added another first to its name. Houthi forces in Yemen launched a cruise missile at Israel. A cruise missile is a small, fast, low-flying weapon that is very difficult to intercept. An Israeli F-35I took off, found the missile in the vast sky, and shot it down. This was the first time any F-35 had ever intercepted a cruise missile in combat. The jet was proving it could do everything. But all of this was preparation for its biggest test. In late 2024, Israel launched a massive operation directly into Iran. This wasn't a strike on a proxy force in a neighboring country. This was a direct attack on the heart of Iran's military power. Over 100 Israeli aircraft took part, but the F-35I jets led the way. They flew a round trip of 2,000 kilometers. They entered airspace protected by some of the best air defense systems in the world, Russian-made S-300 batteries, and advanced Iranian electronic jammers. The mission was incredibly dangerous, yet the F-35Is located the S-300 radar sites and destroyed them. They hit missile production factories, weapons storage depots, and command centers. When it was over, satellite photos confirmed the damage. 20 critical military targets were eliminated. And every single F-35I that took part in the raid returned home safely. Not one was hit by enemy fire. Not one was even detected until their bombs started exploding. It was a flawless demonstration of air power. Then, in 2025, they did something even more audacious. They struck inside Iran again, but this time in broad daylight. Stealth aircraft usually attack at night when darkness helps hide them. Attacking in the day is far more risky. Every eye on the ground in every radar system is at its most alert. But Israel's F-35Is flew in, struck nuclear-related facilities and ballistic missile sites, and once again, every jet came home without a scratch. The message was clear. We are so confident in this jet, we don't even need the cover of night. The innovation didn't stop with the jet itself. Israel also created new ways to use it in battle. While other nations might use the F-35 alone, Israel uses it as the quarterback of the entire Air Force. Here's how it works. The F-35I, with its incredible sensors, flies in first. It silently maps the entire battlefield. It locates every air defense radar, every missile battery, every threat. Then, in real time, it sends all that information to older, heavily armed jets like the F-15I, which are following behind. The F-35Is then use their own weapons to take out the enemy air defenses. Once the path is clear, the F-15Is fly in and unleash a massive bombardment with their huge payload of bombs. It's a devastating one-two punch that no enemy has been able to stop. But perhaps the most shocking tactic is something called Beast Mode. Normally, the F-35 keeps all its weapons hidden inside its belly to stay perfectly stealthy. This limits how many bombs it can carry. Beast mode means loading weapons on external pylons under the wings. This makes the jet more visible to radar, but it allows it to carry more than twice the number of bombs. Every F-35 can do this in theory, but no one had ever dared to try it in actual combat. It was considered too risky, but Israel did. They worked with the US to develop the procedures and then used it in real wars. In areas where the enemy's air defenses had already been destroyed, the F-35I could transform into a bomb truck, carrying a huge amount of explosives to level targets with overwhelming force. Behind this incredible machine are the people who fly and maintain it. Israeli pilots fly multiple combat missions every single day. The maintenance crews work around the clock in three shifts to keep the jets in the air. At the height of conflict, nearly the entire fleet of 39 jets is flying combat missions daily. Lockheed Martin had to give special permission for this intense level of use, and the jets have held up amazingly well. Their readiness rate is an astounding 75-85%, to 85 which is unheard of for a complex stealth fighter in constant combat. 
The impact of the F-35I goes beyond the battles it wins. Its existence prevents wars. Israel's enemies in Iran, Syria, and Lebanon know this jet is out there. They know it can strike anywhere, at any time, and that their best defenses cannot stop it. This knowledge creates a powerful deterrent. It makes adversaries think twice before attacking Israel because they know their response could be swift, silent, and devastating. The world's militaries are watching closely. For years, the F-35 program had critics who questioned its high cost and whether its stealth was still effective against modern defenses. Israel's F-35I has provided the ultimate real-world answer. The jet is a resounding success. It has proven that stealth, when combined with the right training, tactics, and modifications, is not just a technology, but a decisive advantage. So, what does the future hold? Israel is not slowing down. They plan to buy more of these incredible jets with even more advanced technology. The lessons they learn in combat are even being shared back with the United States, helping to improve the F-35 for everyone. In the end, the story of the F-35I Adir is a story of necessity, innovation, and unmatched courage. It's the story of how one nation took a great machine and perfected it for the harsh realities of war. With over 15,000 combat hours, countless successful missions deep into enemy lands, and a perfect record of zero losses, it has earned its title. It is, without a doubt, the most battle-tested and proven stealth fighter jet on Earth.